This is Steve with NSS and this week's tip of the week is regarding finding your ideal squat stance. Whether you're a new client or somebody who's just doing a workout on your own, whatever the case may be, to maximize your squat you want to be able to get a full range of motion and still be able to exert as much power as you can without compromising your spinal alignment. The first step to this drill is to get yourself set on all fours on the floor as you can see in this video. Now what we're going to be doing is starting with your knees in kind of a narrow position and you're going to be pushing your hips back to your ankle. The idea of what we're watching for is to see that that lower back doesn't break and round. We want to stay in that neutral or slightly arched position. In this first position you can see that my knees are a little too narrow and as I'm coming to that bottom position my lower back is actually rounding. If this happens in an actual squat this is less than ideal. So what we're going to do is bring the, leg, the legs a little bit further apart and we're going to test that again. We're going to continue to test progressively bringing those knees further and further apart until we find the position where you can maximize the range of motion and maintain that neutral spine. That's going to give you the ideal position in the, bit, the bottom of your squat to keep your back safe and to still be able to exert maximal force. So as you can see, this drill can be very useful if you're either not very familiar with your squat stance yet or maybe looking to change a few things up or if you've noticed that you tend to get a little bit of that tail tuck at the bottom of the squat. Mm -hmm. 